Hi everyone, my name is Alex Carletti and I'm here in my studio uh, creating my own sanity to bring through the new ideas, the visions, the ideas, the inspirations, the insights for I guess the next chapter in my life and the process of being a creator, curating, creating the reality that I want to live through as to belong to and I want to speak about being the artist of your life, being the sacred artist, being the sacred artwork, being um, recognizing that your life matters. It matters. It's not an accident. You're not here by chance. You're not here to fulfill some cultural function. You're not here to be a cog in the machine. You're not needed by society. You're needed for your soul in order to realize that which you really are. And this message, which is the perennial teaching, the perennial message of, I guess, the, the core wisdom truths that are so deeply held within the fabric of all of our beings, has been sort of snatched away from us, first by our family, indoctrination then by our education system, our cultural programming and most of us in the world are running around like headless chickens not really knowing what our higher purpose, what our spiritual purpose, what our true self is and thus we're suffering because we're not really living in truth, we're living in an untruth and we've all dabbled into this untruth and so it's paradoxical that an artist who is creating uh, images would seek to understand truth. Are, are they creating images that have a truth to them or are they just images of the mind? Are they just phantoms? Are they just um, illusions that are sort of masquerading through their brush? And so these are real questions and I don't necessarily have a definitive answer only more questions, only more processes, only the transformational process that I am seeking to put myself through in order to become real, to become realized, to see with real eyes and hopefully to transmit my vision of the world that I want to see and be a part of. And so this is what I really ultimately want to examine. You know, what is the world that you want to be part of? And I hope that this message receives or is received by people that are seeking, they're, they're feeling a little bit uh, lost, a little bit confused, as we all seem to do when we navigate through the matrix, which is our societal existence. And the realization that I've come to is we need to come together. We need to come together and we need to bring ourselves into a state of unity where we can hold space for one another. We can hold space as a container so that we can offer our truths, our realizations, our process to our kin, to our family, to our tribe, so that we can feel validated in that container, in that knowing, in that space where we can find belonging, we can find remembrance, we can access those innate codes that are so deeply held within our heart, within our innermost being, and assist others in that process, in the inward journey, in the inner quest, in the quest to become a sovereign, free, liberated, awakened being, alive, fully alive and not content to live in slumber, not content to be a slave, not content to live disempowered, disenthralled, disconfigured, disassociated, but to come together to restore ourselves, to restore the planet, to restore all of life, to recogni recognize that we have a duty of conservation and we must conserve ourselves and we must conserve this planet and we must not dilly-dally in this task. Every action we take can be uh, 
an act an act of healing grace an act of determining will an act of uh, spiritual intention an act of diligent harmonization an act of inward integration and this is really what's needed for all of us not more money necessarily or more work or more tools and technologies but the evolution of our innermost self through realizing the existential life lessons collectively so that we can begin to ascend and we can begin to uh, move towards purer loftier more aspirational levels of consciousness and come together in a way that enables us to collaborate to create art to create music to create dance to create ceremony to create healing to create the container for more transformational activities that um, rekindle our humanity and that ignite our divinity and that enable us to uh, once again love trust and live in faith as to who we are and where our place is in the universe, wherever that is. And so with this realization in mind, my intention is to create processes called sacred healing journeys. Sacred healing journeys that are um, opportunities for people to come together in a small way, but for a big purpose and to share uh, our tools, our gifts, our insights, our teachings and to do the processes, the yogas, the meditations, the chanting, to drink of the sacraments in a way that enables us to feel spiritually nourished and spiritually um, calibrated, calibrated to that true frequency of our being, that true resonance, that true um, clarity, sobriety of our being. And with this in mind, I will be creating events that I hope that you are interested in participating or perhaps this inspires you to do something for yourself and to continue that quest, continue the spiritual quest quest to master oneself and to heal oneself and to be uh, a servant of the, the light to create the new world that we are birthing through us.